Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the AI tools in Filmora Trail to create title, description, and and so on. So it is similar to ChatGPT and also an AI image tools inside Filmora Trail at the latest version of the software. So we have Filmora Trail 1.8 now and we have some new artificial tools. In my opinion, I don't think they are smart enough. By the way, I think it's, it's better to show you how to use them and you can make your own decision to upgrade to this latest version or not. Okay, so there are two new artificial features in Filmora 12.1.8. Let me show you how to use them. All right, so here is Filmora 12 and this is a start page of the program. And the first artificial tools is the AI copywriting. Okay, so this is the tool, AI copywriting. So it is similar to ChatGPT. So Wondershare integrated ChatGPT of OpenAI into the software, but it is just a better feature. It is not the final feature, okay? So just click here to open the tools. And now you have the option to type your question. So it is similar to using ChatGPT. For example, you can ask the tool to write a title, a YouTube title for you. For example, uh, write a title. Uh, let me say write a title for this topic. Mm, Filmora trial, for example. Okay, and now you want to click here, submit to get your answer. Okay, submit. And AI is thinking and okay, so the first title is exploring the feature of Filmora trial, the ultimate video editing software. Okay, I think it's fine. But uh, maybe I want to have five titles. So give me five title suggestion for this topic, the same, Filmora trial. Okay, and then we can click submit. Okay, so we have five suggestions here. The number one, Mastering Filmora Trial, Ultimate Guides for Video Editing. Number two, Step-by-Step -step Tutorial. I think this is good, but it's, it is not exactly the same uh, with the way ChatGPT responds to our question. So with ChatGPT, we can improve the answer or stuff like that. We can ask it to improve the answer or extend the answer. But here, we don't have that option. So the only option here is is the copy option so we can copy all the title here just click here copy and paste it to microsoft word or stuff like that okay for example if we open a new microsoft word and we can paste the title here so this is how the feature work right now and being mentioned that you have the remaining question number right here so if you ask too many questions you will not answer okay and you can also use this ai tools inside the software also for example you have a video here on the timeline and you finish it and you want to export it you can just click here at the export button okay and now you don't know how to name it so it is very easy for example you can go back to mp4 and now you can click here at the ai tools option just click here and then ask Filmora to give give you a suggestion for example write a write a title for my video about uh, this um, cat for example because i don't know the name of the the animal just click here submit okay and then you can just copy this one select all the text right here and press ctrl c to copy it and then you can just click here and then press ctrl v to paste the video title okay so it is very simple right and now you can close the ai tools and export the video so this is the first artificial tools in filmora trail and how to use it let's create a new project so i'm going to show you about the ai image with another feature by the way i think this new artificial intelligence is this <laughs> Okay, so in order to use the AI image, you want to go back to your media and then you want to click here at the AI image. And now you have an option to type at the text box and then the software will generate an image for you. Okay, by the way, in my opinion, it is not smart enough also because when I write something, I ask something, it just draw a different image or it make different picture. It is not according to what I want to draw. Okay. So first thing, you want to select the image side here. For example, I can select uh, fire trail, a square image, and then I can write here, for example, raw an image of 
um, a cat, for example. Okay, uh, with y um, teeth. I think so. Okay, and then we can click here, start creating. Okay, just click here because I just want to show you how the AI feature work. And I don't know if it is correct or not because they just create some fancy and random things in my opinion. Okay. <laughs> this is a cat. It looks terrible. Okay, so let's try another one. Uh, make a YouTube logo for my channel. Which is Jackie Nguyen. Okay. And then we can select the square image again and we can click here, start creating. Okay. Because I don't like the cat, it looks terrible. Okay. So you take so this is a percentage. Okay. Huh. Oh my god. Okay, so it looks similar to a YouTube logo. By the way, the text inside is not correct because you see here, make a YouTube logo for my channel. So the channel name is Jackie Nguyen, but here it say Umi Jukka. So it is not correct. By the way, if you want to use this image, you can just click here to download it and it will import this image into Filmora so you can use it for your video. Okay, so this is the image and you can just drag and drop it here. So this is the logo for my YouTube channel. And if you want to find it on your computer, all you need to do is to right click here and then select this option, Review in Explorer. Okay, so this is the image on your computer. All right. All right, so these are the new AI tools in Filmora Trail. I don't think they are smart enough, but this is just the beginning. Hopefully they can improve them in the future. So that's all for today's video. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.